Good morning and welcome to the Daily Share where we pray the word of God and bring it to life in our lives. Proverbs 3 verse 7. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and shun evil. New Living Translation. Don't be impressed with your own wisdom. Instead, fear the Lord and turn away from evil. So all the versions seem to talk about don't be wise in your own eyes. Apart from that version that says don't be impressed with your own wisdom okay and then the amplified version says do not be wise in your own eyes fear the lord with reverent awe and obedience and turn entirely away from evil so my question is how reliable is your wisdom how many times have you misunderstood something that was communicated to you in the workplace at school at home How many times have you misread um, something someone said or misunderstood something someone said? If you're a married person, how many times have you sat there seething in anger? Especially ladies, us ladies. Maybe it's just me, I don't know. But I find that as women, um, when, you know, in a married, in marriage, um, we sometimes we we sort of, You know, I'm not going to say it's insecurities. I don't want to conclude. I don't know what the reason is. But I find uh, perhaps this is only cultural. Maybe there are women in the world who who cannot identify with this at all. But how many times have you perhaps spoke to your spouse and completely misunderstood what they've said and concluded that they meant it another way and had a complete row? as a result of your understanding of what was said only to really honestly later on realize that okay then fair enough perhaps it wasn't as bad as I thought and this isn't just even this isn't just uh, as it relates to spouses and what have you this happens all the time in relationships communication is such a complicated thing it's such a uh you know, you, you, you say one thing I find as a teacher working with teenagers, you, especially when you work with a group, it's far easier to communicate a point to one person. But when you're talking to a group, I can guarantee you they all in, they all understand it in different ways. Right. So now when you think of it that way, now I want you to sort of come back now and come back to spiritual matters and how we relate with God. When, the, when his, his wisdom says, do not be wise in your own eyes, can you see why we can't be wise in our own eyes? Um, 30 students in a class, in a lesson, are hearing from the one same teacher at the same time, listening to that lesson, a hundred um, a hundred uh, congregants in a church are listening to the same preacher at the same time. Or, or, or as it as it relates or relays this co- this um, message, whatever the message may be, they all interpret it in different ways. Why is that? Well, psychologists will tell you that our very experiences from the day we are born they define the the way we understand the world and the way we perceive things. So, what may be a joke to me, you may not perceive it as a joke, but that's what forms your wisdom based on your wisdom, based on your perceptions, based on your upbringing, based on the way you've been nurtured and your nature, all these factor, factors affect the way you understand just one piece of information passed by one person. We're all going to interpret it differently. And it's the same with the word of God. As I'm speaking right now, this very verse means so many different things to different people. As I'm speaking right now, I have a particular uh, point to make. I know what I, at what point I'm making, but you, you're probably not going to hear it the same way. And, and that's okay. That's just the way things work. There's nothing wrong with that. But then now, when you look at things this way, then how, how guaranteed are you that the way any information you've received, any information you've used to make major decisions in your life, um, uh, uh, you know, how sure are you that that information was the most accurate? No, not that. How accurate, How sure are you that you understood the information in exactly the way it was meant to be? I mean, you know, I think so, it, perhaps the, the, the more, the, 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 
I'm not going to say it's scary, but actually it's mind blowing to think that you've made a decision based, you've made a decision based on the way you understood something only to find it wasn't the case at all. And what does that do to your life? What does, what happens when you make a decision uh, to marry someone based on who you understood them to be? Or, and, and then only for it to turn out later on that they are, it's not their fault. They didn't convey themselves that way to you. just sort of saw them in a certain light at the time when you met them. And in the, in the time of your courtship, in the time that you got engaged and whatever the process was, you got married. And then as the years unfold, you start to realize that, you know, th- th- this person's not quite, the way I see this person now 10 years later is not the same way as I saw them 10 years ago this isn't necessarily negative it can be positive that oh my gosh i didn't know this person had it in them to do such amazing things you know you may be thinking to yourself and thinking i can't believe how incredible my wife is 10 years later she's turning out to be this amazing person you had no idea she was you just happened to love them for some reason and you didn't but the point i'm trying to make guys is that um our wisdom is so um when the word of god says do not be wise in your own eyes fear the lord and shun evil our wisdom is let me just say it's misguided human wisdom is very much dependent on your experiences it's dependent on your perceptions it's dependent on sometimes it's even dependent on what you want to hear right you can uh you know say go to an interview for a particular job and because you already want that job because you want to be in that company for whatever reason um in the interview they may reveal some information to you that you just overlook and think nah that's all right i'm not bothered about that as long as i'm in this company at the time you're not interested in anything negative or positive they say because you just want to be in on that company you couldn't care less and god is saying do not be wise in your own eyes as in when making decisions Uh, don't be impressed with your own wisdom your wisdom will sell you out your wisdom is limited your wisdom as i said is misguided you need the wisdom of god let the wisdom of god lead you which then i mean i know i shared yesterday i did proverbs 3 verse 5 to 7 but i just as, as as the day was going on i was about to move on actually to a completely different scripture but i felt like i didn't do that that those three verses justice especially this last bit here don't be impressed with your own wisdom your own wisdom may turn out not pe- not to be as 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 good or as accurate as you thought it was the knowledge that you think you have can turn out to be completely false and yes not to mention the fact that people can also completely mislead you just give you in a in a sorry inaccurate information or just wrong or just barefaced lies and you take that to be wisdom. You take that to be information. And, and you use those lies to make a decision. And obviously, guess what happens later on? Uh, we've, you know, these are quite, I mean, there's all sorts of things that happen in Africa. But there, there's an article I read of a lady who saw a job interviewed once in South Africa. She saw a job interview um, and she went for the interview for some reason because she's a prayerful person she was some that some guy when she entered the building for the interview some guy sort of directed her a certain way but for some reason anyway she went up to the interview and and on her way out she was directed to go a certain way but for some reason she decided not to ignore that and go another way and then it turned out later through a series of events that she realized or she found out that a lot of people who'd gone into that building um had it had turned out that they were basically trafficked to other countries as you know just human traffic as slaves basically so they came in for an interview not knowing that they were being um or what's the word that they were being conned into being trafficked basically i mean i know this is extremely uh, sinister and i know i'm only sharing an article i read but i mean these things are real and if you are not acutely aware of them that doesn't change the fact that they happen all the time human trafficking and slavery is still a thing it's still happening every day so but the point is there was a job advertised you, you and you and you go into a building thinking you're going to an interview and lo and behold it turns out not to be thank god for for his grace that particular lady was saved but there obviously there will be people who were not saved 
So now you see why it's important to walk with God all the time. Things that seem innocent, the last thing you expect to happen or the last person you expect to come across or the last incident you expect to experience that day could completely change your life just forever. Don't be impressed with your own wisdom. Where every time you step out to do something, just ask God, cry to God and say, God, if you're not in it, I really don't want to be in it. If you're not in my job, I don't want to be there. If you're not in this marriage, I don't want to be in this marriage. If you're not in this endeavor, I'm about to go in. If you're not in this attractive, lucrative looking business opportunity, if you're not in it, I don't want to be in it. That's just the way we're supposed to approach life, guys. Because anything else, you have an, a miserable, a horrible encounter with, with the enemy, the devil, one way or the other. Because that's how he works. He lures people in using lies and schemes. And when we don't use or seek the wisdom of God on anything pertaining to anything, no matter how trivial it may be, no matter how small it may be, it's so important to seek God's wisdom in all things for that very reason, because our enemy is prowling about the earth, seeking whom he may devour. Um, as the as as the few next few days, sort of, uh, as I share in the next few days, um, you know, I, I'd like to sort of so perhaps look into some of the practical ways because sometimes we think we are consulting God and 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 maybe we are not. Um, like, how practical is it? to consult God on everything and how do we listen to him to know what his leading is and what he's saying those are all things we all want to know because Christianity is a very very practical um, relationship with God it's not just procedures or a religious you know procedure just so you tick the box and say I'm a Christian no it's a very practical walk with God thank you for listening God bless you have a lovely day goodbye